Joe Biden has launched an illegal foreign invasion of our country, allowing a record number. <laughs> the president of our country has launched an invasion of our country. <laughs> that does not make any sense. That's not a thing. Number of illegal aliens to storm across our borders. What am I drinking? Um, I am drinking water because um, I am now in uh, my f a fasting period, so I can't drink beer anymore. From all over the world, they came. Under Biden's current policies, even though these millions of illegal border crossers have... They, do you guys have the same, like, I, I don't know. I get so sick of even pointing it out, but, like, the border policies of Trump and Biden are virtually goddamn identical. There's, like, a handful of minuscule, pathetic little differences that don't add up to a hill of beans that you could point to. I'm not saying they're completely identical, but they're virtually identical in that uh, they're effectively the same policies. Entered the country unlawfully. All of their future children will become automatic U.S. citizens. Can you imagine? They'll be eligible for welfare, taxpayer-funded health care, the right to... That's uh, literally always <laughs> been how it works. I mean, maybe not always, but ever since the 14th... I mean, like, here's the thing. Uh, we'll, we'll get to it. Vote, chain migration, and countless other government benefits, many of which will also profit the... Government benefits. Have you guys seen any government benefits in this country? Is that a thing we do here? <laughs> I don't think we do much of that. Illegal alien parents. This policy is a reward for breaking the laws of the United States and is obviously a... This is not a... He's, he's literally acting like the 14th Amendment is some crazy Biden cooked up. I mean... Biden did not write the 14th Amendment. He's old, but he's not quite that old. In fact, you're just as old. Magnet, helping draw the flood of illegals across our borders. They come by the millions and millions and millions. Millions and millions They come from mental millions. institutions. They come from jails, prisoners. I mean, I guess some probably, but like <laughs> most of them are just people who are like, you know where I bet I could make some money? That richer country over there. Don't worry. It won't be too long before there's nothing to come here for. <laughs> it won't be too long before the immigrants look at America and just go like, eh. Some of the toughest, meanest people you'll ever see. The United States is among the only countries in the world that says that even if neither parent is a citizen nor even lawfully in the country, their future children are automatic citizens the moment the parents trespass onto our soil. As has been laid out. That's not how it works. You have to be born on our, our soil. You can't, the, the parents trespassing is not enough. <laughs> they have to actually be born on the soil of the United States. Out by me. You know, even if you think, I mean, you could think that's a stupid rule all you want, but here's the problem. 14th Amendment, Section 1, all persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and the state wherein they reside. No state shall make uh, or enforce any law which shall abridge the privilege or immunities of citizens of the United States, nor shall any deprive... I mean, it says right there, born or naturalized in the United States. Any person born in the United States, according to the 14th Amendment to the Constitution, is a U.S. citizen. That was the criteria laid out. So... Like, I don't know. There's really not much you can do on that. Many scholars, this current policy is based on a historical myth and a willful misinterpretation of the law by the open borders advocates. Uh, there aren't that many of them around. It's amazing. Who wants this? Who wants to have prisoners coming into our country? Who wants to have... I mean, yeah. Why would we want prisoners coming into our country when we already have so many prisoners here already? And we have the highest per capita prison population of any country. So I don't know. I mean, like, uh, we seem to love prisoners here. That's why we make so many of them. Not to mention this country isn't it isn't itself kind of a giant prison, which is why, I mean, we're even building a wall. Remember, walls can also keep people in, right? People. Why is Trump so dark? <laughs> he's, he's really not. I think it's just he's an orange man in a dimly lit room because he probably doesn't want to show how orange he truly is. We're very sick coming into our country. People from mental institutions coming into our country. And come what, what do you mean? People from mental institutions? Like they're, was that, was that where they're born? Or are you just like, what do you mean from? 
someone's like, I'm I'm going to leave this mental institution and go to the United States. I don't understand. Come they will. They're coming by the thousands, by the tens of thousands. As part of my plan to secure... Well, well, it's already gone down because earlier it was the millions. Holy shit. Secure the border on day one of my new term in office. I will sign an executive order making clear to federal agencies that under the correct interpretation of the law, Going forward, the future children of illegal aliens will not receive automatic U.S. citizenship. Okay, well, once again, 14th Amendment, bro. I'm sorry, but last I checked, and I, it has been a minute, but last I checked, executive order doesn't trump constitutional amendment, even if it is from you. I'm sure some of your weird, your weird um, sycophants will, uh, will support you, but uh, I really don't see this one holding up in court, even even a Trump stacked court because they don't want to, first of all, they don't want to, they don't want to lose their credibility. What little they have. And this would, if they were to just outright look at the 14th amendment and say, Hey, you know, that thing, the 14th amendment says in explicit terms that anyone born here on the on United States soil is a United States citizen. Let's just ignore that. Let's just choose to interpret that differently. Um, that court would have no credibility and the UP, the citizens of the United States would then have uh, all the pretext they needed to uh, overthrow the government. I'm not advocating overthrowing the government. I'm just saying that at the point where um, we have a leader who can supersede the Constitution uh, at a whim, we then officially have a dictator. We are a dictatorship, and we are then justified in doing whatever we have to to depose that dictator. I mean, that's just the truth, right? The truth as I see it, the truth as uh, I believe many will see it, uh, maybe not all. I, I know for a fact that there's some who, who, will, who won't see it that way. Some will be just tickled pink to have a dictator in office, but not me. I'm not a fan.